सो हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज अरिन सुखवाल वी आई एस ग्रुप बैच टेन एंड माय वेबिनार इज ऑन साइबर सिक्योरिटी एसेंशियल्स इन फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एसेंशियल्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज साइबर और इंटरनेट फ्रॉड एंड आई विल जस्ट गिव यू अ बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ इट सो इट विल बी ईजियर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेबिनार सो साइबर और इंटरनेट फ्रॉड टारगेटेड एट कंज्यूमर्स मे कम्प्रोमाइज लाइक मैसेज ई मेल और टेलीफोन कॉल्स requesting these customers to send money or uh, their sensitive personal informations for like for example their uh, uh, identification number pin number uh, that can be used for account takeover or uh, let's say identity theft or it may uh, show up as unauthorized transaction uh, that been made from their accounts so a cyber incident can also result in system downtown uh, make it impossible for customer to access their funds so now we will move forward to why cyber security is essential so instead of taking key points uh, i have taken some incidents uh, that will help uh, us to get more detailed and depth idea of what is actually happening in cyber crimes so in 2021 more than 14 lakh incident is uh, reported and in 2021 2022 uh, already more than 2 lakh incidents are reported and uh, uh, we know about the punjab national data breach although they confirmed about the glitch but uh, denied any exposure of critical data due to the vulnerability so punjab national bank said that customer data uh, are not affected due to this but the server has uh, shut down as uh, precautionary measure and uh, more than 180 million customers for about the last 7 months their uh, financial informations and uh, security of funds personal data are compromised and in uh, february 2021 uh, air india passengers uh, personal data were also stolen and uh, police exam database with information of 500000 candidates goes up for sale and uh, in covid 19 test results of indian patients leaked online also uh, dominos in the pizza their database uh, also leaked on dark web that contains uh, their pizza preference their email id and password name all things okay so now we know the uh, essentials of cyber security so now let's talk about symptoms and causes of cyber crime uh, so this is a, a definition i have written here so falling victim to a scam or experiencing system access error can result in financial and psychological harm and uh, will most certainly affect the customer's confidence and uh, trust in the financial services and i have also included some of its types that uh, affecting the uh, financial services like uh, social engineering attack insider malware scams uh, let me give you a basic idea of it so uh, in a social engineering attack a fraudster manipulates a customer or a provider's employee getting them to share confidential information or provide access to internal systems and database and uh, fraudster telephones they use telephone uh, text messages or email uh, to their targets a uh, process also we known as phishing to uh, access their personal identification informations such as let's say uh, credit card numbers their pins and uh, uh, account login credentials that can be uh, used to steal their uh, targets identity or uh, take over their account and access their customers funds uh now insiders they intend on causing harm the most and uh, their greatest concern of digital financial service providers next one is malware or uh, ransomware or denial of service attacks they prevent provider customers or the party from accessing a, a digital financial service platform and its services they may also be used to initiate a, a camouflage a data breach and the next one is scams the most common digital financial services scams are uh, advance fee scams that transfer reversal request so in a advance fee scheme a customer is tricked into sending uh, funds to participate in a fake lottery for example uh, or to receive a fake reward or gift 
and in a reversal request uh, a customer is requested to refund a apparently incorrect deposit that has been transferred uh, into her account so based on this understanding we know that data security or cyber security uh, should aim to achieve two goals that is uh, protect the data and protect financial systems so as uh, especially sensitive data and uh, personally identifiable numbers uh, information from unauthorized access and uh, protect financial system from uh, attack by cyber criminals which can result in system downtown and uh, uh, inefficient uh, processes okay so let's move to the next one so the financial services are a prime target for cyber criminals because they have money and uh, data that can be sold and vulnerabilities that can make the data relatively easy to access so as systems become increasingly complex financial services are becoming smoother and uh, uh, the need for easier and faster transactions uh, but also increasing the risk of fraud and security gaps if you see this uh, uh, diagram here you have seen that this uh, diagram here we can see that financial institutions are most targeted industry uh, if we uh, talk about 2021 that is 24.9 percent which is uh, a lot so as we moving forward to the next slide i have included this article uh, by snp that said uh, cyber crime is growing risk to uh, bank ratings i also included some of the key points of the article that is uh, cyber attacks have had only a limited effect on a uh, bank ratings to debt but can trigger more rating actions in the future as cyber incidents become more frequent and complex uh, that is said by the uh, credit analyst Irenia Velivia. And uh, financial institutions with weak risk governance are less prepared for and therefore more vulnerable to cyber attacks. Uh, by this, we can see that cyber security is one of the most important aspects of the fast paced growing digital world. Data breaches can make it difficult to trust financial institutions, and uh, for banks, that's a serious problem. Okay, so we talked about what is cyber crime, its essentials, incidents, and uh, how it's affecting the financial services. So moving forward to this slide, I've included cyber threats for the uh, financial services uh, that includes bank drops, supply chain attack, the, and the most common one, but to considered one, phishing and ransomware. So uh, let me give you an overview of these uh, cyber threats. So the first one is a uh, bank drop. Uh, it is a term used for bank account that is controlled by a fraudster to transfer uh, the stolen funds. The fraudster use fake or uh, stolen personal information uh, to create a bank account, and their aim is to and their aim is to make the account look as legitimate as possible for the criminal activities. So, uh, how this bank drop works? So, what happens is the fraudster he steals someone's credentials or uh, he can buy the stolen credential or also he can create a synthetic id and then he collects uh, as much information about the victim as possible including their credit report even the phone number or he tried to uh, also he tries to uh, get their access to active email accounts then he also put the security measures in place like uh, he uses the VPN, uh, the browser and the advanced firewall. Also some of uh, the bank drop uh, fraudster uses the burner phone. Then he uses that uh, credential to open the account and uh, he order a card for it. He uh, also he makes some few legitimate transactions with uh, clean cash for the security reasons. And if they are successful, he used that account to transfer the funds and then he can start to cash out. Supply chain attack. So a supply chain attack uh, is a type of cyber attack, obviously, that targets organization by uh, focusing on the weaker links, uh, focusing on the weaker links in an organization. The supply chain uh, is the network of all the individuals or uh, let's say organizations, resources, uh, and the technology it allows for uh, uh, it also allows for specific targeting and the number of victims can grow quickly uh, if the attacked vendor has a lot of customers 
So there's an incident I would like to mention here that uh, cyber attack that led to the leak of customer credit card uh, information. So the, uh, the cyber criminals, they gained access to the retailer's network by installing malware on the company's uh, uh, point of sale devices. So the malware was then uh, able to steal credit card information and uh, transmit it to the criminals. So uh, I think it is est estimated that uh, over 100 million customers were affected by this attack, supply chain attack. Uh, moving on to the next one, the phishing attack. This is the most common but uh, we can say the dangerous one. So uh, there are two points here, the attacker and the victim. So what is happening here, the attacker, he sets up a fake website and uh, designs a phishing email. And what he does is, he uh, mentions that fake website link to that uh, phishing email and then he sends that phishing email to the victim. Now the victim clicks on that uh, link and he redirects to the fake website which is the identical clone of the original website. For example, uh, let's say Facebook. It's a genuine website, okay, facebook.com. I created a fake website called Facebook. 123.com that is the identical clone or uh, let's say exact copy of the original website so uh, whatever data the victim enters on this website will be stored in the uh, database of the attacker and this is all uh, phishing attack uh, so the next one is ransomware attack so ransomware is a form of uh, malware it is not a virus, it, uh, we can say it is a malicious software that uh, encrypts victim's file. So the attacker then demands a ransom from the victim uh, to restore access to the data uh, upon some uh, amount of payment, amount of money. Okay, so a uh, user are also shown instructions for how to pay a fee to uh, get the uh, uh, decryption key. So the cost uh, can range between from uh, hundreds of dollars to thousands mostly uh, they are payable in cryptocurrencies. So what is happening here, the attacker first send a file to the target computer and the once file is op opened, uh, the file quickly encrypts all the victim files using uh, uh, cryptographic functions, cryptographic methods, here uh, using public key cryptography and uh, encrypts all the file on the computer. The owner is then shown a message that contents will be destroyed within a period of time unless the owner pays a certain amount of money to the attacker and the attacker will give him a decryption key that he can use to uh, decrypt all his files. Okay, and that is not guaranteed that uh, upon payment uh, the attacker will give him a decryption key. And uh, uh, the latest WannaCry software is an uh, advanced form of such an ransomware. And the uh, one of the most delivery system is a uh, uh, phishing spam that uh, comes from a victim in an email uh, with the attachment. Okay, the Bangladesh bank heist is uh, one of the biggest bank robberies or uh, cyber crime in history of financial services and the most impressive cyber crime in history also. This is the story uh, of a group of less than 20 cyber criminals. They are uh, composed by high profile hackers, engineers, financial expert and uh, uh, banking ex expert who gather together to uh, hack the uh, Bangladesh Central Bank. So what happened was in 2016 Hacker obtained the credential of an employee at uh, Bangladesh Bank. So the country uh, central bank and the ins they installed six type of Marvel. The country central bank and they installed six type of malware on uh, its IT system. When they had performed a series of test runs, logging into the uh, banking system uh, several times or uh, monitoring the software, the deleted files into the database, uh, the hacker then used uh, the access they had gained to the SWIFT system to send payment request to the uh, uh, Bangladesh bank account at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Because this payment and also because this payment uh, request from Bangladesh bank were unusual, the name of the uh, uh, correspondent bank were missing, missing. 
so the name of the correspond bank were missing in all the messages the transfer were uh, not automatically executed obviously so in ex so at the first 35 messages were rejected due to incorrect formatting the hacker simply corrected the formatting and resent the message now this time five payments request total 81 million of us dollars were executed uh, with the funds being uh, paid into the account in philippines uh, the hack was considered to be successful because uh, the attacker managed to erase the fraudulent uh, uh, transcripts from the bangladesh bank records they uh, also sabotaged the uh, communication between bangladesh bank and the uh, new york uh, new york federal so the queries and warnings did not reach the bank so in india the hackers who tried to steal nearly uh, 2 million us dollars from indian city union bank in 2018 they also used the uh, similar tactic to uh, those employees in then uh, in that uh, unsold bangladesh uh, bank cyber heist case and uh, for the final conclusion this is a graph of how cyber is affecting different industries and for banks that is a serious problem a weak cyber security system can amount to data breaches uh, that could be easily cause their customer base to uh, take its money somewhere else the growing number of cyber attacks against uh, financial services of companies is a reflection of how this sector has uh, turned to technology to solve many of problems it uh, faces to increase market share many financial institutions rely on uh, big data so thank you for joining this webinar i hope you have a great day ahead thank you